Hello students, today let us have some knowledge about Windows 7. Windows has many utility programs for day-to-day -day applications and entertainment. These additional programs are known as accessories. For example, calculator, notepad, Windows media player, sound recorder, etc. Let us first talk about Windows media player. Windows Media Player runs and organizes digital media files, both audio and video, available in computer memory. This software allows us to play, copy and create CDs, DVDs and copy music and video to portable devices. Let us learn how to RIP, copy the contents of a CD in your computer. We can copy songs from our favorite music, CDs, or DVDs onto a computer with Windows Media Player. When we RIP music, we are copying songs from a CD to a computer. After the songs have been copied to a computer, we can use Windows Media Player to play and organize the songs, create playlists, and copy music to a portable device. RIP copy CD to your computer. Click on the Start button, select all programs and then choose Windows Media Player from the list. Insert an audio CD in the CD drive. You will see the list of songs stored on the CD in the Windows Media Player. Clear the checkboxes next to any song that you do not want to RIP. You can see the checkbox at the top of the list to select or clear all checkboxes at once. When you are done with the selection process, click on RIP CD. The ripping process will start and you can see the RIP status of individual songs. To stop the ripping process at any point, click on Stop RIP button. Click on RIP setting button. Change the format, audio quality of ripped music files. Or you can keep the default Windows Media Player format settings. The songs are ripped to the Windows Media Player library. After the songs have been ripped, go to the, li to the library to play them. Let us now learn how to copy data to CD. That means burning a CD. Saving an important information or a data on a CD or a DVD is as easy as saving on a hard disk. As we can create our own CD and DVD by selecting a folder of the software or files and drag it to CD or DVD icon in computer folder. Copying data to CD. Burning a CD. Insert a CD into your computer, the autoplay dialog box appears. Click on Burn Files to Disk using Windows Explorer option. Burn a Disk dialog box appears. Mention the CD name in the disk title, text box and click on Next. An empty disk folder opens. Drag the files that you want to burn into this folder. On the tools bar, click on burn to disk button and then follow the steps in the wizard. Now let us find out how to display two windows at a time. Windows 7, we can display two application windows side by side. In Windows 7, we can display two application windows side by side. Open Microsoft Word and Microsoft PowerPoint programs one by one. The PowerPoint window is active at present. Now right click anywhere on the blank portion of the taskbar. Click on show window side by side option from the shortcut menu. Both the application windows will be displayed side by side. Ok students, let us learn how to explore pictures in the pictures folder. We can store digital photos, images and graphic files. Ok students, let us learn how to explore pictures in pictures folder. To open this folder, click on the start button and then select the pictures option. 
from the right pane. The pictures folder will open. By default, the pictures are displayed as thumbnails in the pictures library. You will find various buttons like Organize, Share with, Slideshow, Burn and New Folder on the bar above the thumbnails. We can also view our pictures as icons of various sizes in the pictures folder or any other folder customized as the picture folder. To do so, click on the drop down arrow located next to the change your view button on the bar above thumbnails. Select any picture and double click on it to preview. We get various buttons at the bottom of the picture which help you in managing pictures view. For example, viewing next or previous image, clockwise or anti-clockwise rotation, magnification or reduction of image. We can also play slideshow option to run pictures on an automated mode. Disk cleanup. If we want to remove some unnecessary files from a hard disk to free up disk space, so that our computer can run faster, we can use Disk Cleanup feature as it removes the temporary internal and downloaded program files, empties the recycle bin files and other items that are not been used for a long time. Let us now learn more on Windows 7. Windows 7 offers a variety of new features which have simplified our daily task. Some of its features are as follows. Touch screen, that means no more mouse. In this type of screen, we can use our fingers to browse online, flip through photo albums and shuffle files and folders. This can be also experienced in mobile phones, ATMs, tablets, ticket collection terminals, etc. Snap. It is a quicker method to resize the open window. Drag one of the windows to the left edge of the screen and another to the right edge. In the manner, you can view two windows side by side. Dragging the windows to the upper edge of the screen will take you to the entire screen. Dragging the window to the lower edge of the screen will expand it vertically occupying the half screen. Check. Using this feature, we can disappear or minimize all the open windows except the one on which we are working. For this, you can click on the top of a window and without releasing the mouse button, give your mouse a shake. Arrow Flip 3D It is an interesting feature of Windows 7 which enables you to preview all open windows as a stack. To activate the Arrow Flip 3D feature, press Window key and Tab key combination. To select and view the desired window, hold the Windows key and use Tab key to control through. As the required window appears on the track, release both the keys. Now it will open on the screen. Searching made easier. Using Windows 7, we can quickly search for more things in more places in our computer. Simply type some text in the Start menu search box and click on the See More Results option above the search box. You can immediately see a list of relevant documents, pictures, music and emails on your PC. The search results are further grouped by category and even contain highlighted keywords and text to make them search easy. Windows 7 Taskbar the Windows 7 taskbar is more flexible and provides an easy navigation facility. That means we can pin our favorite programs anywhere on the taskbar for any easy access. We can also preview the thumbnails of the open files or programs by pointing to the icons on the taskbar. Windows can even be closed from the thumbnail preview. The new arrow pick feature allows us to turn the open windows transparent and makes the desktop screen visible. To do so, just point to the Show Desktop button at the right edge of the taskbar. Jump List Jump List is a new feature in Windows 7 which takes us right to the documents, pictures, songs or websites that we use frequently. That is, using Jump List we can see all the frequently used files. 
To open a jump list, right click on a program icon on the Windows 7 taskbar. The jump list for Internet Explorer shows recently opened websites. A jump list also appears on the start menu. Simply click the arrow next to the program name. Windows Media Center Watching TV, movies and other video content on a PC is easier than ever. With a cable connection, we can watch and record TV using Windows Media Center. Windows Mobile This software empowers advanced, easy-to-use devices that allows the user to send and receive email, browse the internet and hundreds of applications available to extend the platform. Instead of Android mobiles, nowadays Windows mobiles are also available. As Windows mobile works differently depending upon the place, time and the nature of our work. For more educational videos, kindly subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you.